All right, what's up, guys? Pet man, Matt Morrow, Carolina Varsity, taking a look at another uh, group of our top five preseason breakdowns for the Charlotte Conference's best to last positions. This time, we're taking a look at the top five running backs in the uh, Charlotte Conference's best to last eligible uh, teams. And once again, these are the three 4A Charlotte Conferences, the IMEC, Southwestern, and the South Mech 7. Uh, making this running backs list was really tough. And uh, there's some some really good running backs this year. I think last year was the year of the quarterback. This year is the year of the running back. A lot of great running backs in um, the best to last uh, Charlotte Conferences edition. And um, this is the preseason list. So if you don't hear your name, once again, we're going to do this again in the midseason right before conference play. Um, you got your chance to show out and get some shine on that list. Um, and also, we're going to do an underrated players uh, list for all positions um, after all these are rolled out. Uh, if you feel like you need to be on that list, uh, hit me on Twitter at PetmanCV, P-E-P-M-A-N-C-V. Uh, send me a message. We'll check with your coach. He agrees. You'll be on that list, and we'll give you some shine. All right, so starting at number five, uh, we got Kamal Howard. Now at Myers Park, formerly at East Mech, uh, a great player, two-time offensive player of the year uh, in the Southwestern Conference. Um, he's still in the conference, just going over to Myers Park, and um, you know he he adds an ability uh, to the Myers Park backfield now, and um, you know that's just another weapon for that great offense. Uh, when you look at him, you know he's built low to the ground. Um, he, he's got good speed. Uh, he can run over you. He can make you miss. He can do it all. He's a, a, a purely talented young man uh, that's a heck of a running back and a, a good football player. Uh, number four is Najir Peoples um, at Butler. And um, he had a really good season last year, um, over 1,000 yards. Um, you know, when you look at him, uh, kind of built – similar to Howard. I think uh, Peoples is a little more shifty. Uh, he does really uh, well catching the ball out of the backfield. Um, in open space, he can make people miss. He can get the tough yards inside. He can run around the edge. On the uh, stretch plays, Butler likes to run. Um, he's a complete back. And, uh, you know, I really like enjoying uh, watching him play. And he's a well-spoken young man as well. I talked to him in the preseason. And uh, it was nice to uh, meet him in person. Uh, number three on this list, um, another kid I've talked to uh, in the preseason, Cole Jackson up at Lake Norman. And, um, you know, some some people in Charlotte may not know about Cole, but, um, you know, you see all the Christian McCaffrey highlights out there. Um, you know, he, he's almost a clone of that on the uh, high school level. Um, he can catch the ball out the backfield. They're putting him in, in the slot this year using him out there at times to um, win some matchups against linebackers, uh, running the ball. Uh, he's really good on the edge, um, especially in space and making people miss. Um, he's, he's electric. Um, I watched him last year in the playoffs against East Mech in the first round. Um, that was my first time watching him live. Of course, I saw a lot of tape and highlights. Um, and the, <laughs> the tape and highlights don't do, do him justice. Uh, and, you know, he, he recovered from a, um, a scary – uh, situation with his health in the off season. Uh, went and visited him over the summer. Um, he, he looks great. Um, you know, fully recovered. Uh, great, great young man to talk to. Had a nice time speaking with him. And um, he's a team leader. And um, you know, his head coach really bragged on him. And, and you know, he's going to put the leadership uh, responsibility on him. And Lake Norman, I think, is a team to watch. And Cole Jackson's a big reason for that. Uh, number two, uh, this kid can get it done on both sides of the ball. Uh, D'Angelo Blair Young at South Mech. Um, I, I love watching him because, um, you know, at Carolina Varsity, you know, me and Dale Ross, we always talk about two-way players. And you don't see as many uh, two-way players now with um, everything going on with football. Uh, but this man is a, a true two-way player. He can get it done at linebacker. And he can get it done at running back and be all conference at on both of those positions. Uh, running back, he, uh, he, he, you know, he can destroy people, um, but he still has enough agility to uh, make you miss and uh, run away from you in the open field. And linebacker, you know, he loves to hit, come downhill, 
and uh, make plays uh, in the backfield. Um, you know, he's a great young man. I know Dale met with him in the preseason. Uh, I liked watching his video. He's always always respectful in social media. Um, just just a great great young man all around. And South Mac is um, blessed to have him on their team. Uh, then number one, of course, uh, it's no secret here. Quavars Crouch at Harding. Um, you know, the first time I met this young man was uh, a couple years ago, and um, he was a sophomore, and uh, we sat down to interview. And, um, you know, I was really impressed with him uh, back then. And, uh, of course, it, it continues to grow now on and off the field. And, you know, his head coach, Sam Griner, can't say enough uh, good things about him. Uh, you watch him play live. I know everyone's seen the highlights and everything, but watch him live. Um, really go t and take in a Harding game because, you know, the number one uh, running back in the junior class, uh, number five overall in that class right here in Charlotte in our backyard, um, you know, when you get players like that, you just have to enjoy them uh, while you can. And um, this young man is something special. You know, he can run away from you. He can run over you. He's got every move you can think of. And doing that at the size he does it at is, is just amazing. And, and like I said before, he, you know, he's smart. He's driven to be the best. He's a team leader. And, um, you know, he's only a junior. And so we've got another year after this to enjoy him. And, um, you know, it, it, it speaks for itself, man. He's an, an awesome young man, an awesome player. And, um, you know, for him to be at Harding is even more amazing. And, um, you know, back then he told me he wanted to be uh, part of the, the uh, solution at Harding to turn the program around, and he's doing it. Um, so, you know, and a lot of people, you know, would say, you know, why stay at Harding? I know that was a big thing uh, back then. He was coming up and the hype was growing. And um, he stayed all the way through, and, and that speaks a lot to his character. Um, he made a promise uh, back then and wants to see it through. So, you know, there you go. That's all you need to know about Kavar's Crouch. And um, that's our top five running backs. And, and like I said, this is a very tough list to make. Uh, there's a lot of great players, and uh, hopefully we'll highlight a lot more of you in the uh, underrated edition um, coming up next week. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Definitely uh, appreciate your uh, support and uh, good luck this season. Uh, thanks again.